good morning children welcome in english grammar class today we are starting active passive voice my dear children you would have already read this topic in previous class but let us read it again what is active voice active voice denotes what the subject does for example people cheered the king this sentence shows that the doer of an action who is the doer of action here people so what the subject does here you we can say that here people this word here it is doer of an action or subject of this sentence so here it denotes what the subject does in the sentence so our focus is on the doer of an action it is active voice or we can say that the subject performs an action now next passive voice what is passive voice passive voice is used to denote what is done to the subject it means that here the subject becomes a receiver of an action or whatever that is done to the subject for example the king was cheered our focus is on the action not on the doer of an action what was the action the king was cheered by whom it is not required to mention here so our focus is not on the doer of an action it is passive voice now children when everything can be conveyed in active voice then what is the requirement of using passive voice my dear children passive voice is used when point number 1 doer of an action is unknown when we don't know that who was the performer of an action or who has performed the action here so it is the performer of an action is unknown for example the tree was cut now who cut the tree we don't know it is unknown so we can use here passive voice the tree was cut again here our focus is on the action that is done or that was done okay by whom it is unknown number 2 where do we use passive voice point number 2 focus is on the action not on the doer for example cricket is played in india now again here our focus is on the object here or the action cricket is played now actually who uh, play cricket or who plays cricket here now it is not important to mention uh, we can say that here when we convert into passive active voice here of this one then we can say that people play cricket in india but actually we don't want to focus on people here we don't want to focus on a doer of an action our focus is on the action here right so it is focus is on the action not on the doer so passive voice is used in these two places my dear children here very important thing to remember please all of you take care number 1 past participle or third form verb third form of the verb is always used in passive voice whenever we use passive construction then we always use past participle of the verb or we can say that third form of the verb point number 2 intransitive verbs cannot be expressed in passive intransitive verbs means verbs without object so we always uh, express passive construction of which verb of transitive only intransitive verbs cannot be converted into passive now number 3 perfect continuous tenses it means that present perfect continuous past perfect continuous and future perfect continuous and future continuous do not have passive voice so these are four sub parts here of main tenses they cannot be converted into passive again i am repeating present perfect continuous past perfect continuous future perfect continuous and and future continuous it cannot be converted into passive voice now my dear children it is important to note down this table it is passive voice table when active voice is given how to convert the sentence into passive voice please remember that if a sentence is given of simple present in active voice then how it will be changed it we bring the object first then we will apply helping verb there are three helping verbs here is and are 
okay so accordingly we will apply and we always use third form of the verb as i told you or past participle and then we mention subject for example here he plays cricket he plays cricket so cricket is object here cricket is played by him cricket is played by him next present continuous if active voice is given in present continuous tense then how it will be changed into passive voice so for example she is cooking food she is cooking food it is active voice then object is food object will be brought first food is we cannot use here am we cannot use here are so food is being we always remember you always remember that being is used in continuous form in passive voice so food is being cooked by her food is being cooked by her next present perfect if the sentence is given in present perfect how to convert into passive voice for example i have completed my work i have completed my work it is active voice change into passive now here my work is object so my work will be brought first my work now children here it is present perfect that is why my work has been completed by me okay my work has been completed by me next and we do not make a uh, passive voice of perfect continuous tenses so here i have already put here cross and future continuous also you already know next when active voice is given or the sentence is given in simple past active voice how to convert into passive here so you remember that here the past form of ism or are here uh, was in verb so again if let us see one sentence here he wrote a story he wrote a story w r o t e he wrote a story a story was written by him a story was we always use past participle so a story was written by him next past continuous tense if sentence is given in past continuous how to convert it into past continuous passive voice let us see here children were playing cricket children were playing cricket it is active voice how to convert into passive cricket was being played by by children cricket was being played by children got it next past perfect right for example the teacher had taught the lesson before i entered the class the teacher had taught the lesson now change into passive voice the lesson had been taught the lesson had been taught by the teacher before i entered the class next future simple future if sentence is given or if sentence is given in active voice in future simple future then how to convert into passive for example i shall win the race i shall win the race it is active voice of simple future how it will be converted into passive the race will be we do not use here shall along with race will be is the third person that is why the race will be won by me the race will be won by me and we do not make a passive voice of future continuous tense so leave it then future perfect in future perfect children these are the helping verbs will shall and along with it we add have been please remember will have been shall have been and we always use third form of the verb it is past participle for example uh my mother will have cooked food before i reach home my mother will have cooked food before i reach home now let us convert into passive food will have been cooked food will have been cooked by my mother before i reach home so these are the uh, very important things you should remember you should write down in your copy 
let us continue yes children pay attention these are some examples here uh, sentence number 1 is given in uh, positive number 2 is negative number 3 is interrogative when active voice is given in positive negative or interrogative how to convert them into passive voice let us see here if active voice is given in positive then the passive voice will also be positive for example he writes stories here he is subject writes verb and stories object this sentence is given in simple present and you see the table that uh, there if uh, it is given simple present there are three helping verbs is am are and here the object is plural stories stories will be brought first stories it is plural that is why are we always use third form of the verb or past participle it is write wrote written written stories are written by he will become here him okay now number 2 negative if active voice is given in negative passive will be negative remember it for example he does not write poems now here it is object object will be brought first so here poems are why are because again it is given in simple present in simple present there are three helping verbs remember is am are so poems are not written because it is negative that is why we have also put here not so poems are not written by again him right number 3 if active voice is given in interrogative so it is a interrogative sentence of active voice does he write stories you need not answer it here like this here yes he does or he no he doesn't it is not like this here does he write stories it is active voice change into passive or stories written by him now let us see here it is or we should be it should be brought first because it is given in simple present again helping verbs are is am are so as it is starting with helping verb passive voice will also start with a helping verb or then object stories third form written by him or stories written by him yes my dear children let us take one more example this sentence carries two objects he teaches us science here us is also an object science is also an object now children here us is indirect object actually children for living beings whatever the object we use it is indirect object and for non living it is called direct object now children this sentence can be converted into passive voice in two ways number 1 by bringing indirect object first and second is by bringing direct object first and it is also suggestible that it is better to bring indirect object first it would be better number 1 now us will be changed into we okay now this sentence is given in simple present and in simple present there are three helping verbs again is am are so here along with we we will use are is cannot be used am cannot be use so we are now third form of the verb past participle of teach is teach taught taught we are taught what signs we are taught signs by him okay and when we bring direct object first it is also correct but let us see here signs now again it is simple present that is why is we cannot use here are we cannot use here am so signs is taught third form taught but remember that here whenever we use direct object first in this sentence it is essential to bring preposition to science is taught to whom us science is taught to us by him so please it is very important it is safe to use uh, it is uh, by using or by bringing the indirect object first okay indirect means for living being okay next example children what will we do if a modal verb is used in the sentence in active voice let us see an example you must follow traffic rules you must follow traffic rules 
Now in this uh, sentence, the object is traffic rules. It will be brought first traffic rules. Now what is the verb? Must. Must will be written here. Okay. Traffic rules must. Then be used one more helping verb. It is be. Must be. And third form of the verb or past participle it is followed. Traffic rules must be followed. We can also say that traffic rules must be followed by you. Or if it is not very essential to mention uh, you here, then our focus is on the action here. Traffic rules must be followed.